Hi and welcome to this DC Blueway tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make playlists on YouTube. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we're going to go to my YouTube channel. When we go to my YouTube channel, I'm just going to pause this video here. We've got playlists here, right? So when you click on this playlist, you'll see lots of different playlists that I've already created, but you can also add them to the home page here. And playlists can contain your videos or other people's videos on YouTube. So you need to remember that. You can create playlists with all of your content, but you could create a playlist with music, for example, or different types of food. You can create a playlist about food, you can create a playlist about anything you really want. It's just grouping videos together so that people can find it easier to see that particular piece of content. So if I click on playlist here quickly, You'll see that I've got lots of different playlists here and next to each one of the playlists you'll see a number. So here you can see for example like videos is 728 so that's a default playlist. Uh, anything that I like will get added in here. Then you've got like Audacity, you've got a few different ones here, you've got like a little music one here like some music that I like and then you've got things like uh, learn about Premiere Pro and you can see there's 39 videos in that one right. So let's go ahead and click on manage videos here, manage videos and when you go to manage videos uh, you'll be logged into your Creator Studio and you can see content here. So these are all the videos that I've got running right now. And then you've got playlists. Let's go ahead and click on playlists and you can see all the different playlists that I've created so far. And what I want to do is now go ahead and create a new one. So let's go to the very top and it says new playlist here. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to ask me for a title and the title will be, um, let's call this, So I'm going to type in a title here called SEO Keyword Research and I'm going to click Create. And that one gets added to the very top and there's a little uh, pen icon here to edit the content for this particular playlist. So I'm going to click on that and it will open a new window and in here we can do a few other things. So the first thing we can do is add a description. So in here I'm just going to add a brief description. This playlist is dedicated to tutorials for SEO keyword research. Now you, I'm just going to put a brief title, a brief description, but really you should write a longer description. YouTube allows up to 5,000 characters. So the more keywords and the more things that you mention about your playlist or the content inside of it is going to be better for you, right? I've just written quite a brief one here, but if you was if this playlist was about maybe uh, cakes, you can adding keywords like birthday cakes or how to create birthday cakes, anniversary cakes, wedding cakes, chocolate cakes and so forth. So try and add keywords into your description that relate to the videos inside of the playlist itself. Right now it's saying there's no videos in the playlist, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And if you want to edit the title, you can click here and edit the title. And that's pretty much all you can do here. There are a few other options. You can click here and you can add videos from here. You can add col collaborators so other people can add videos to your playlist as well. There are some playlist settings here. Let's have a, let's have a quick look at them uh, briefly. In fact, let's add some videos first, right? So I'm going to click add video and it's going to ask me to search for something. There's a few different ways that you can add video. One is um, external content. So you can add videos from other people's videos or you can add videos to your playlist that don't belong to you. So if I type in keyword, uh, let's type in keyword research, right? As an example and then click search, it's going to list all the different videos related to keyword research and more and this is going to be the same listing as if you were to type it into the YouTube search, right? So if we took that same uh, keyword and typed it into here, keyword uh, research, if we type that in, the videos that are listed here will be the same ones that are listed in here as well. So if I click on the first one and you can just uh, single click on as many that you want to add. So let's just say for example I add the first five, right? One, two, three, four, five. These ones I'm going to click add videos and these videos will now appear here. You can see them. So this is adding external videos and sometimes it's nice to group other people's videos with your content and maybe you can build a more informative playlist. Most of my playlists just contain my own videos, I'll be fair, to be fair, but you know, that's kind of your choice. So that's one way to add a video from this section here. So if I close this, we're back into the Creator Studio now, right? And if I click the refresh button, you'll see this one, top one will get updated. 
and you can see now it's saying it's got five videos in there so remember you can click on the pen icon to edit the playlist and we'll leave this open for a moment and uh, we can go back to creator studio to add more content so now i can go to my content section here and i can find videos that relate to seo or keywords so i'm going to type in keyword here at the top here and i can see there's two videos here right so if i click on one of the videos let's click on this top one it will take me into the the video content here then i can scroll down to the bottom here if i scroll down and it says that it's added to three playlists at the moment so it's in google chrome tools it's in search engine optimization and it's in website design tutorials but in this search bar if i type in keyword uh keyword or just key uh let's just type in keyword then we can tick this one off to add to seo keyword research the new playlist that i just made i'm going to click done and then i'm going to click save so that new one is now being added i'm going to click back here and it will take us back to this page here and i'm going to click on this video here because this also contains information about keyword research so let's go ahead and click on the drop down and we'll type in keyword or just type in key and it will find that word right keyword research or that playlist let's click done and then we'll click save so that's two of them added and i think i've got one more video so let's just try and find uh, another one there is another tool in here i did uh let's see if we can find it quickly um install seo quake right this is to do with keyword research well it's kind of to do with seo it's not really keyword research so we want to really add that one so if we go back to playlist now we should see seven videos let's just refresh this refresh it and now we see seven videos and if we go over to this tab right or if we close this one and then go and click on the pen icon we'll see all the seven videos now you can drag these in whichever order you want so you can grab this one and move it to the top so you can move maybe your videos closer to the top and then other people's videos can sit towards the bottom or you can click on this little icon here and go to playlist settings and inside playlist settings is allow bedding so we can enable this so people can embed this playlist um, into a web page somewhere for example add new videos to the top of the uh, add new videos to the top of the playlist if you tick this anything new that you add will always be at the top of the playlist set as official series for this playlist so this option is really if you've got like um maybe you're making a documentary or you're making some content or you've got a playlist about uh making maybe a recipe and there's uh, some some maybe imagine you make a playlist about cooking uh christmas dinner but there's many components to that christmas dinner right so you can tick this off to make it an official playlist uh official series for uh this particular playlist or maybe you're making a documentary about all of the best um museums in london and you go and visit all the different museums and you can tick this off to say this is the official series for this particular playlist so I'm going to untick that because it's not really relevant and click done and then uh, these will just order as default as I drag them but if I were to add a new video if I were to create a new video then add it to the playlist right now it's going to add it straight to the top because I've set it to allow embedding and also set it to add to top of playlist okay so next we want to try and add some of these playlists to our home page so we can close this window that takes us back to the creator studio where we've got our playlist here right and if we um this one here if we go back to the website or if we go back to youtube and uh, let's just go to my channel let's go to my channel here you'll see Hi. uh all of the playlists listed out here you can see there's one called woocommerce here right it's got three videos in it so i'm going to remove this one and add this new playlist that we just created here as an example let's go back into the uh, creator studio here and go to customization and inside customization you've got the trailer video and the featured video maybe i'll make a separate tutorial about this later but underneath here you've got playlist featured playlist and at the moment there is no add section button because i've used up all 12. so this one called uh, woocommerce i'm just going to click on it here and i'm going to remove it and you can see add section now appears right so i'm going to click add section you've got lots of different options in here so you've got like live videos you've got past live streams you've got up and coming live streams you've got single playlists or multiple playlists you've got subscriptions and featured channel you've got quite a few different options in here so like the things like um featured channels for example you can see that right at the bottom here these are like featured channels that i've put here you can see right youtube adds short youtube shorts are like a default down here at the bottom you don't really control these so we want to add um, a single playlist if you add multiple playlists it will be a bit like adding this one here so if you can see like created playlist you can see there's like all these different ones here listed here you can click on the arrow to scroll across you can view all of them 
right like this so this one is actually a uh, created playlist here which is multiple playlists but we're going to add single playlist let's click on that and it's going to ask me to pick which one i want and this one is the default one this is the most recent one so it shows first the seo keyword research so let's go ahead and click on that and then you can see that uh let's see that should be listed right at the bottom here so here you can see youtube shorts and here you can see the seo keyword research so we can now take this one and drag it up let's say we drag it to here uh let's drag it up a bit more so we can see it let's make it like um maybe the, the second one right here let's click publish here publish and we can go back to the youtube channel just give it a second and refresh it and then you'll see hi keyword. welcome to the tcp word tutorial and then you'll see the keyword research right here you can see that right the keyword research um playlist here so if you were to take that one and drag it down one you can drag it below create a playlist and publish and then we'll refresh here again let's just refresh and then we can see um it's now displayed in this particular position right and if we go back here again, let's just click on this one. You can remove it by clicking here as well. Uh, it's not that one I want to remove. I actually want to remove this one. Um, but you can also edit section contents. So you can click here uh, and you can change it to a different one as well. So maybe you want to change it to WordPress, for example. Then it will show all the WordPress ones. Uh, or we can go edit section and we can change it back to keyword research. You can also click on it and click view playlist and it will just show you the playlist here like this okay so that's how you go about adding playlists do go and experiment with them so if i just remove this one and just click remove section for this uh, seo one we can click add section here you've got uploads you've got members you've got popular uploads shorts these ones are already been um, added so they grayed out anything that's grayed out in here means that it's already active in this in this op these options here you see so you can't really um add it let's let's click multiple playlists uh let's see We've got created playlists. Let's click multiple playlists, and we should be able to select many of them. So let's just select quite a few of them. You can probably select all of them to be honest. Um, but we'll select these ones here and click done, and that will be right at the bottom here. Now you can see multiple playlists, right? It's a bit like the created playlist one, really, uh, very similar. But I guess multiple ones or these multiple playlists that gives you a bit more control. Uh, maybe in terms of what gets displayed in here because I believe this one's going to just display the most recent ones but this one here you can actually control them a bit better right you can just go to edit section content and you can pick specific playlists that you want and you can even give it a new title so you can add um, something like uh, my latest video playlist right or playlist and then click done and then it will have that title about above here right my latest uh, video playlist let's just publish that go back to the website or youtube here and let's just refresh it and if we scroll down then we see my latest playlist you can see the videos are different from the ones at the top here i believe these ones are showing in a default order but these ones here you can specifically pick what you want so it's up to you whichever one you use um it's entirely your choice but i wouldn't add both of them so let's just get rid of this one it's not really necessary and let's just publish and then we can go back here and refresh and we're kind of back to the default i just need to add that woocommerce one back again okay so that's how you go about creating playlists in your youtube studio beta also adding um external videos to your playlist right so remember we added some external ones here if we check just quickly again we can see that we added some external videos and we added our own internal videos as well uh, it's entirely your choice if you want to add some external ones or not that's kind of up to you okay let's go ahead and minimize this that's how you make playlists on youtube hopefully you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials that's the end of this video tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial